a little bit of a flavour of the site on the daily baguette run so that's us there see you there quite a lot of activity I think they hire out um, canoes and stuff to people and you get there in a distance there the old paragliding and just down that way is the private beach in fact there's a few private beaches on this site I think it's three private beaches pebbly which in a way is good because you don't get sand in between your toes and in your sandwiches so our caravan is at the end of a run of three caravans you see us over there see one two three with a third one right over there and the electric point is just there so we had to bring an extension uh, two basic two electric cables although there seems to be an electric point in the little shed we've got on our but you know they don't they actually don't tell you and you don't know what questions to ask so you're on your own in that respect so it's very hilly this site and uh, here's the first toilet block just here again there's all these kind of um, terraces where motorhomes and caravans go but if you've got twin axle um, there's basically I think only four pitches you could go on ours being one of them I know the sun behind me isn't very professional but that's the way I'm walking first toilet block here Apparently there's tennis courts and all sorts uphill, free to use, equipment supplied. Which is a reasonably expensive site, so you'd expect all this sort of thing to be free, I'm guessing. Ah, there's a bar up there, which I've not seen open yet. But now I know where it is. See how hilly it is. Oh, nice little train there. So a lot of shade this part of the site but not where we are obviously we're fighting with our canopy and of course aircon although at some point in this vlog i'll tell you a story about our aircon and also the fridge you'll be pleased to know reasonable day today not that warm more cloudy earlier sun's out now though Maybe you're playing tennis in 30 degrees. <laughs> it's all I can do to stand up. Quite a large site. I mean, we're not aware of it because we're right at the front on the on the um, coast front bit. But it goes back quite a way. As you can see here, a lot of activities for everybody. Now there should be, I think, a little kiosk there. You can just go and ask for tennis rackets and whatever you want, ping pong. It's actually quite a nice feel to this area because of the pine trees and the nice scent in the air, warm and plenty of shade. I imagine it gets quite busy down here. Like I say, first time I've been in, been down this bit and we've been here since, well, while we're now Thursday, Bastille Day. Happy Bastille Day, whatever the, whatever the greeting is. So we got here Sunday and it's now Thursday. It's the first time we've really ventured any part of the site. Is it caravans, whatever you want to call them? famous Irish caravan builders, O'Hara. <laughs> what? They do advertise the site of having a vineyard. I think it needs a bit of water. You wouldn't get many bottles from there, would you? See it there? Vival. Vival. Whatever. Get in there. In baguette. <laughs> Probably an electric scooter wouldn't go amiss on this site because it is hilly and it is warm. I need something like that. Laundromat. On the left is a restaurant. We were advised to book, but never really seen many people in there. But they do do fish and chips. If you're missing the home, I suppose. 
think there's another beach down there and another beach just over there but they're smaller they're smaller than the ones the one we go to uh, washing up area this is a good site too we won't come here anyway but just to let you know so i've basically just walked in a big circle from our caravan down the hill to the sports area then back up to the shop which is over that way great views all along as i joked i think on twitter this is like terrific farm with sun and without the tango <clears throat> this is another pitch that's um twin axle capable good to see there's the smallest motor home in the world on it thing here called the clubhouse I'm not sure <clears throat> it's not been open maybe it's not high enough season yet and then back to our toilet block which is there so our caravan is just over there somewhere oh. so over there is Argelez So there's the electric point there. And our cable runs the whole length of this, or two cables actually. And that can see there, the car there. So that pitch there is also twin axle capable. <clears throat> Life in the fast lane, just been to the laundrette. And we're gonna, just gonna have a look at this, one of the Three private beaches on this site. Got some pretty steep steps. You look at me until I'm ready. <laughs> See one there, and another round the corner. Hey, these are steep now. Yeah. I'm round there. Beach comb in there. See how dangerous that is, those stones are. <laughs> and then the other beach is just here. But there's also a bigger one just nearer to our pitch. occasions I have threatened to change the channel name to Extreme Caravan in Adventures watch out Andy Michelle I mean it has this for extreme come on all right I've got a guide route <laughs> so a lot of these little pitches have almost have their own private beach so just come from there the excitement you can have whilst waiting for the washing to finish 
so that's just out of our pitch there. Um, just a short walk down to here at the end and we'll be at the beach or at least top of the beach because there's a staircase. Access is tricky often on these pitches. So it's a bit of a roundabout here and this is where we were told to turn around. Um, you know it's just too tight for twin axle. No way you're going to do that. There's a walkway there. You can't get to it from the site, but just outside the site you can. And you can go all the way to Collier, which is kind of around the next bay. Two, two bays at a time. So it goes that way and that way. And there's the beach there. You can see, very calm today. It's like a mill pond. When you come to the site, they do say um, access to the beach, you're not meant to, in their words, loiter. So the idea is you go down there for a swim uh, because I think they're worried about falling rocks, possibly. Although they say that they haven't had any rock fall since 1950 something. But I think the local council or the local, com the local mayor, they've got a bit nervous about the rocks, I think. So they say, go down there have to even come back although most people take their umbrellas and stay down there quite some time So as far as this campsite goes, like most campsites really, mixed opinions. It is really expensive. I mean really expensive. Like five star expensive. And we are high at the season as well, so that's upstairs that I'm in. So our opinions, see, um, I like the site. Mandy's had the opinion that she likes the site but not at the cost that it, we paid. So, I mean, you've seen the view, you know, you, I don't think you get a better view than that. Facilities are good. One toilet block, you know, most sites have an older toilet block and a newer one. The older one's a bit in need of updating probably. The newer one is as good as any toilet block I've seen, to be honest. Very nice showers and facilities. Laundrette, restaurant. Bar up there is bar 180. Now it was only open from the 13th of July and it's only open kind of a few hours. I think the basic thing is you can go and watch the sunset from up there which sets over that way. Never actually got around to going up there. <laughs> One of those. It's been a very relaxed holiday. We haven't really done very much. So in summary, would we come back to this site? I think possibly yes. Although we're thinking of a complete change of area for next year. I think 
I think this site is on the Axi card system so you know you get the card that you pay for and you get discount off season might be a better site off season when you're paying half the price maybe one lone canoeist I wonder if he's on an insurance claim keep paddling my son they'll never find you this is quality caravan vlogging <laughs>